Good morning guys, welcome to today's class. I am Matt, one of the personal trainers from Des Renford Leisure Centre. Um, I hope you're all doing really well today. Um, if you're joining us live, hope you're inside and not getting wet outside. Um, looks like it's going to be rainy for the next few days, or at least today. Um, if you're cold at home, this is definitely going to warm you up. We have got a strength class. Uh, so we are going to need a few different types uh, of weights or something you can use as a weight today. So for myself, I'm using medicine balls. Uh, as you can see down here, basically for those of you that are just joining, like I was just saying, we're doing a strength class today. So we're called Muscles with Matt. I'm Matt. Um, I've got two different weights that I'm going to be using. I've got a 10 kilo and a 6 kilo. Now if you've done this class before, you might have already brought some weights with you. If you haven't, you can always grab a backpack, fill it, fill it full of uh, books. You could use a big thick book, you could use a heavy water bottle. Anything heavy around the room is going to be too big to carry. Something, you know, sort of small and dense. Um, today's round, we have 10 exercises, so we're going to be moving through a little bit slowly. Uh, rather than just smashing through each round. So we want to focus on strength, main thing. We want to focus on form and technique. So we want to make sure everything is done perfectly. We're not, just, we're not going to hit class. We're not trying to go for as many reps as possible. We want to do it slow, controlled, and good. Um, thanks for you that is just joining us. Thank you. Um, grab a weight if you haven't already. We need something just to be able to lift with. Uh, also, if you have any medical conditions, any problems with the body, any uh, illnesses, please go at your own pace. If anything seems too difficult, please don't do it or do a lesser version of it, something easier, or possibly even without weight. If any medical conditions or illnesses keep going on, please go seek the guidance of a GP or medical professional. Um, we'll start up in about a minute or so. Like I said, just go grab yourself some weights. Got two different weight variations to move through here. We'll start off with a little warm up in about 30 seconds. I hope you're all doing really well out there. If you're stuck inside, I hope you've got a nice cup of tea or something. You can sit and watch the rain come down. Okay. If we're ready, we're going to start with a little warm up. It's my favorite warm up to start up with. We're going to do one minute this time. So we're going to go legs wide, hands wide. And reaching down to the toes and popping back up. Seeing if you can reach as far as you can on each side. So toes is what I'm aiming for. Nice control. Make sure you're popping back up to the starting position and then resetting and coming back through. We're not going to stay down here. Coming up top. Good. Ten seconds left. In five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Shake out the legs a little bit. Thanks for joining guys. If you're joining right now, make sure you grab yourself some weights that you can use, something at home, heavy book bags, bottles, anything like that, just to be able to do some weighted exercises here today. We're gonna to do some side stretches, so the feet we have shoulder width apart, hand goes up over top, hold here for a three, two, one, changing side, three, two, one, let's go back, three, two, one, Back, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, excellent. You're gonna side spins, lifting up what, the opposite foot as you go around. So heel comes up off the ground as we spin. Now like I said, today we have got a strength class so we're gonna be focusing on form and technique and strength rather than speeding through these exercises. So we're gonna spend a little bit more time warming up today to make sure we're in good working order to get 
I body into it. And come stay to the left. Just a little bit more here. See how far you can swing it across and twist the body. I want everything to be loosened up before we start doing any weight lifting. Okay, we're going to go big circles back with the arms. Nice and big. But we're also trying to keep the chest up nice and tall as we do this. I don't want to start rounding forward. Should feel a nice squeeze through the middle between the shoulder blades as we come all the way back. Okay, let's go nice and small now. Same thing, keeping the chest up nice until you should feel this in between your shoulder blades. If you're doing it correct, correctly. If you can't feel it there, you need to try and bring your arm further back to so feel in between here. Let's go a little bit more. So the pinkies go further back. Okay, let's go big circles forward. Nice and big. Now guys, I'm going to be running a one-off class this Thursday at 11.30. Going to be, I said this last week, but we're actually going to do it this week. Going to be doing a dumbbell class. So if you have any dumbbells at home or a single dumbbell at home, or even something you can use like a dumbbell, going to be running a full class just heroing the dumbbell. So it's going to be full body, it's not just going to be arms, it's not going to be chest or back, it's going to be the whole body working with one dumbbell, so join in 11.30 on Thursday, and I'll run you through that class. Okay, we're gonna go front to back. Let's go. Chest up nice and tall. Opening up your chest here. Just give me two more. Okay, now we're gonna do single hand. We're gonna keep one hand, so let's go left hand, right chest. Right hand is going to go up all the way and down. So it's going to be 10 times. Nice and tall. Keeping the chest up. Looks like this simple thing to do, but it's really going to activate the small muscles in your back. Two more. Excellent. Other side. Let's go. Now I just keep my right hand on my chest just to keep my posture in check. I want to make sure everything's up nice and tall. We're not caving forward down here. Up nice and tall on a flat back. Straight arm as well. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to, do, we're going to combine those two. So we're going to hinge at the hips and knees bent. Feet about shoulder width apart. Hinging here, going to tip forward, hands come down straight. So we want a completely straight arm, and from here, from the shins, up to just above the forehead. We're going to do about 20 reps here. Let's go. You should feel a nice squeeze in between the shoulder blades or in your traps. We're trying to aim in between the shoulder blades, but if those muscles are not switched on, you might feel it on the side of the neck. So we want to try and shift the shoulder blades together, Imagine trying to squeeze them in between the shoulder blades and keep that position. And then lifting up towards your forehead. Let's go. Give me five more. Okay, last one, we're hold for five seconds, okay? Three, two, let's go. Up here, five, four, three, a little bit higher, two, one, very good, shake it all out, very good, okay, so what we're going to do is 10 exercises, I'm going to run you through each of them, first round we're going to do is going to be 30 seconds on, 15 off, then we're going to go to bigger rounds, we're also going to go bigger rest as well, so 30 seconds on, 15 off, like I said, don't speed through the reps. We want to do them slow and controlled. So in 30 seconds, we might only get 10 reps, and that's perfectly fine. Okay? So the first one we're going to do, I'm going to be using my lightweight for this whole round, and then go heavier on the next. So, 
We are going to start off 30 seconds. We're going to be doing a squat press. So squat press is simply weight in hand, squatting down. If you can, elbows, knees, bum down as close to the ground as we can. Up overhead. 30 seconds, starting in three, two, one. Let's go, guys. Get into this workout. So my stance is quite wide. If you want to go narrower, that's fine. If you want to go wide, perfectly fine as well. Ten seconds left. Hope you're feeling good out there. Hopefully this warms you up. Three, two, one. Bicep curl up next in 15 seconds. Nice and simple. As long as the elbows don't move, we're good. So don't elbows go out and back. Three, two, one. Let's go. Straight up and down, just like that. Nice and simple. Gotta make sure we focus on our upper body strength as well. First thing people normally go to in times like this is start doing a lot of lower body exercise, which is great, but also need to keep the upper body strong as well. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Guys, we're down on the ground now. We've got some sit-ups. So you don't have to do this with a weight, but if you want to, what we're gonna do in five seconds is start with the weight overhead. Three, two, one. And if you want, you can add a press in as well. Only if you feel up to it. Otherwise, you just come here. You don't even have to use a weight if you're not up for it. And I'm gonna add in a little press in my setup as well. Do as best as you can to not completely crouch when you come down. Try and control it for as long as you can. Almost there guys. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Very good. Lunge press up next. If you've done this class before, you would have done this. It's one of my favorite exercises. Just because it ties everything in together, it requires a lot of balance and coordination. So when we're stepping out for our lunge, we're pressing up at the same time. So when I repeat this, we're not going to lunge and press. We're trying to synchronize our movement. Okay, we'll start in three, two, one, let's go. Up, alternating leg. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Very good. Now guys, I recommend using a light weight for this next exercise. I might even struggle with this. We'll see how we go. I'm going to do a tricep extension. So I'll get down here to show you. We're going to be going up above the shoulders. So we're dipping down below and lifting up. Do that. Excellent. We'll start in three, two, one. Let's go. Now for this, you can easily be using a book or a water bottle or maybe a small dog if you go on. But can get pretty tough pretty quickly. Let's go. Three, two, one. Oh, arms are on fire already. We have a Russian twist up next. So, we're going to stay down on the ground. We'll get down, sorry. I want to get feet zipped together, knees zipped together for the entire time. As soon as we let these open, we're going to start working different muscles inside the hips. Keep them locked up. And we work on the outside of the obliques, which is what we want. So, 
Weight in hand, twisting shoulders all the way to one side, touching the ground. Starting three, two, one, let's go. Remember, feet and knees stay zipped together. Weight comes all the way down to the ground, shoulders twist as much as they can. Seconds, let's do it. Three, two, one. Guys, hopefully, you can see me in the screen. We're going to be doing a wall suit. Good. You can't see me. Okay, so you need to find somewhere solid around the room. Doesn't have to be a wall, just anywhere where you can get your legs to 90 degrees. Okay? Yeah, we're just going to hold there. Starting up in five seconds. Long inhales through the nose, long exhales through the mouth. Three, two, one, let's go. Let's do it, guys. If you want to follow me, get some fitness tips, inspire health ideas, Matt the fitness coach on Instagram. Definitely give us a follow, say hi, let us know if you join in the class. We have three, two, one. Excellent, guys. Three exercises left in this round. Front raise up next. Oh. Okay, starting in. We're going to do a front raise, so straight up like that. Three, two, one, let's go. So feet, shoulder width apart, just a little bit wider. Hands coming straight up. So elbows aren't bending as we come up. We're going to be staying locked in the same position and working into the front of the shoulders. Abs are going to stay nice and locked in. Let's go. Almost there, 10 seconds.
Next round, we're going to be doing on one minute and off for 30 seconds. So we've got bigger rounds. We're going to roll down a hit class. That means you're going to get super exhausted um, and probably be profusely sweaty by the end of that minute. Because we're doing strength, it doesn't mean you need to increase the pace or anything. You just need to try and keep pressing for the whole time. I don't mind if the reps slow down. I just want to keep perfect technique. And the reason we have two different weights as well is because if we get tired on the bigger weight, we're going to move to the smaller or vice versa. If you start with a lighter weight, you want more of a challenge, we're bigger. Perfect. But I'm going to be starting with 10 kilos and working for as long as I can until I'm tired and then I'll change it to 6 if I need to. Now make sure you stay hydrated. Muscles are going to need a lot of water to be performing these big exercises. Gonna start back up in one minute. Like I said, guys, if you want to follow me outside of the gym, please go follow Matt the Fitness Coach on Instagram. Say hi, drop a comment. I want to vote. Nice. I'm posting lots of awesome nutrition, uh, workout, exercise, mindfulness tips on there, so always good. Also, I can put it forgot to this time, but if you haven't set your watch to burn calories, definitely go ahead and do so. I'm going to be doing traditional strength training today. I posted my calories yesterday for our workout, I hope you did too. But after this workout, drop a comment down below, post how many calories you've burned, we'll see if we get a little friendly competition going. We're going to be starting up in just over 10 seconds. Hope you're ready for a bigger round here. So like I said, I'm going for the heavier weight this time. We've got squat press up first for one minute. Starting up in three, two, one, let's go. Nice, low squat, big press above. Oh, legs are already on fire from yesterday's session. Let's go. I don't know about you at home, but all these classes are keeping me super fit. I actually dropped weight. Starting up, bicep curls. Three, two, one, let's go. Remember, elbows are not going to move at all. You can see right here, it's just the bicep controlling this. I don't want to see the elbows coming back or forth like this. Just stay nice and steady. Nice and controlled, guys. Still got 30 seconds left. Can you make it through the whole minute without changing weights or without stopping? Fifteen seconds left, let's go. Extra G 
challenge, definitely go ahead. Five seconds down guys, here we go, 20 seconds left. Seconds left. Can you make it through? Fifteen left. Five seconds, guys. Give me one more. And try. Oh. I'm gonna get an extra little break here. I need it, and then we're running through this. We're gonna start up, we're gonna have an extra 10 seconds on top. Starting up, in 10 seconds, we have a tricep extension. Now, I'm gonna use my lighter weight for this one because I don't think I can do the heavier weight over the with these. Three, two, Wides up over head and tricep extension. So elbows are going to try and stay locked in place for this one as well. And we're not trying to flare out here, we're trying to stay in nice and controlled. Seconds left, guys. Can you get through? Three, two, one. Oh, very good. We have Russian twist up next, down and ground. Going back to my heavier weight this time. Already feeling pretty pumped up. I feel that too. We'll start up in 10 seconds. Remember, knees zip together, feet zip together, shoulders twist as much as they can. Three, two, one. Let's go. Nice and strong. Touching the weight down to the ground just lightly. Shoulders twist, knees and feet stay together. Should be feeling it in the sides of the body and the abs. Oh, 
20 seconds left. Let's go arms are on fire for this one. Pretty unusual. I guess we've been working them a lot. 10 seconds, here we go. Three, two, one. Wall sit up next. Now guys, the only thing that's gonna help you in the wall sit is focusing on your breath. Not much you're gonna do with your body's gonna help. As long as we can steady the breath, a long inhale and a long exhale, it's gonna help relieve the muscle soreness and pain. Almost getting into a meditative, meditative state. Five seconds, we'll start up. Three, two, one, 90 degree angle. Close the eyes if you want. I will, we're doing long deep breaths here. Big in through the nose. Big out through the mouth. Try and make those breaths last as long as you can. See if when you breathe, if you can purse the lips, like you're blowing up a balloon and bring you the air out as slow as you can. This will help slow down the heart rate and make everything feel a little bit better. Technique that you learned in meditation, just using normal in everyday life as well. Never feeling stressed, just long deep in. First lips, long deep breath out. 10 seconds left, we're almost there. Let's go guys, last little bit. One more deep breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake those legs out. We're gonna take an extra second before we start the next round. Four, shake them out. Quads are probably burning. Wall sits are also excellent for knee health and strength if you have any knee problems. We have three exercises left guys and then we're going to get into a bit of a cool down and a stretch. Two rounds just today but big amount of exercises and big body exercises. I might sneak another two or three exercises in after this but we'll see. Starting in 10 seconds we have a front raise with your lighter weight. I recommend not to use a heavier weight for this one. Okay. So just like before, we don't have to go on the knees, but I'll show you how to do it. Arms either perfectly straight, like this, or just a tiny bit out. We're gonna keep that same position the entire way through. Three, two, one. Let's go. Abs nice and tight. I want a nice, strong body as we're doing this. We're lifting just up from the shoulders. If we get here and then start twisting, it's gonna be biceps. So keep the arms in the same position as when they start. Just pivoting from the shoulder joint. Doing good. Let's see as well we can drop those shoulders back and go from here. We're not gonna be cramping up the neck. We're gonna try and keep those shoulder blades back as we lift. 20 seconds. That's a good thing about these long rounds. I can add a lot of teaching cues and help and still keep going through. Got heaps of time. Three, two, one. Very good. We have two exercises left in this round. I'm going back to my heavy weight for this one. Bend over rows. Normally I do this one handed. But if we're just using stuff at home today for now, we're just going to be doing this together. But if you want to do this at home, definitely grab a single bottle or bag and use these rows here as long as the back is nice and straight. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. So add switched on, back is going to be nice and straight. I don't want to see any back sitting around me like this at all. I'm sending it all the way back. And we're pulling up just in between our chest and our abdomen, where our solar plexus are, right in there. Try and keep the elbows tucked in rather than flaring out. 30 seconds down. So good. 20 seconds left. 
15. 10 seconds. seconds left. Let's go nice and strong. Guys, come and sit onto your heels. 
This is one of my favorite rebound poses. Something we get taught in yoga. We've done a lot of stretching in the time for the body to relax, let the blood flow restore, let the air flow restore. We also get a nice calf stretch, nice quad stretch in this one as well. And it starts to work on the feet too. We're going to jump back into our other side of the lunge in five seconds. Okay, this time right foot forward, right knee stacks on top, look at the right heel, the right ankle. Hands that it comes to the top of the foot, uh, the top of the knee. And we're here for one minute. Once again, sinking in, dropping those toes down on the back. We're not going to be arched up like this. Nice and low down. Sink and into those hips. Now try and do everything opposite. You have your hands stacked, right hand down, left hand on top the other way. Go the opposite way this time. Might not seem like a big deal, but anytime you can feel the imbalance or unusual into the body, generally we'll find a little bit of weakness or imbalance you can work on. Doing good, 20 seconds left. Let's go. 15 seconds remaining on this single post. Can you sink a little bit deeper? Can you work on that breath a little bit more? All that slowing down here. Three, two, okay. Left hand swings up, reaching up as high as you can. Right hand comes on to the left wrist, pulling over to the side here for 20 seconds. Remember, we're not sinking forward, hand is coming here, directly in line with the body. And pulling, giving yourself a nice stretch. You might feel it down around this groin or the hips. Three, two, one, excellent. Front leg goes out straight. Ooh, this side is definitely a lot tighter for me, especially on the inside of the muscle. So the joint areas, the little bum and the knee aren't too bad. Inside the bulk of the muscles are actually tighter. So I'm going to keep the knee a little bit bent and it's going to really work into the center of this muscle. A little bit longer. 10 seconds left. Toes pointing towards the face if you want. Three, two, one. Excellent. Okay, this time, let's go for some upper body. So I'm going to stay kneeling just to get a little bit of extra stretch through the ankles and through my calves on so doing these. I'm going to send right arm up. Oh, sorry, right arm across. Left hand goes up and wraps underneath. Actually, we're a little bit closer for this. Here we go. The right arm underneath and sending up. Doing a nice stretch through here, possibly through the lat and the back of the shoulder as well. Now, I like to turn my hand palm facing behind me. And same with my top hand as well. And both are going to push against each other. So this hand is going to push this way. This hand is going to pull towards me and create an even deeper stretch. Hold here for a few seconds. Hope you're doing good out there. Three, two, one, shake it out. Okay, left hand wraps across, right arm comes up, palms facing back with both my hands. This hand is going to push forward, this hand is going to push towards my face, and we're going to get a nice stretch. Really trying to aim top of the shoulder and then back of the shoulder. Guys, we're almost done. We've only got about a minute or so left. Thank you so much for joining me today. Like I said, if you want to get some tips or just follow me at home or on my fitness journey, please go follow, us, Matt, follow Matt the Fitness Coach on Instagram. Say hi, drop a comment. And also, if you've been tracking your calories for this session, drop a comment down below and let us know how many you burnt. I'll drop mine directly after this session. Three, two, one. Excellent. Swing out just a little bit. One more stretch. Hand goes up. This is what I meant to do before. Goes back. I'm pulling over the side. Keeping the body up tall. We're not rounding forward. And even have a little bit of a side stretch if you want. Ten seconds left. 
three, so three, two, one, excellent, swing it back out, left hand goes up, reaches back, going over the top, and I'm going to go straight into side stretch as well, just adding a little bit more, almost there guys, in three, two, one, swing it out, awesome guys, we are done, I am Matt, this has been Muscles with Matt. Please come back on Thursday. We've got a one-off dumbbell session that I'm going to be running you through. Um, so take care and I'll see you soon. See you later.